if someone else spending their money hurts you, aggravates you, annoys you, frustrates you in any sort of way, you really should click off because this is not the right video for you and you will just, just hurt yourself. Don't do it. This is a positive space. Today I've got a few exciting unboxings. I don't want to say that this is a specifically targeted what I got for Christmas video because although I did pick up these things over a Christmas period, nothing is really that special for me to, well, there was one special thing, but that's obviously not going to be in this video. We're going to start off with the most exciting item, which is Van Cleef. Van Cleef is a brand which I've been loving for a very long time. Actually, no, that's a lie. I've loved it more recently. It's a brand which I didn't really see as something I could pull off when I was a lot younger, but the older I get, bear in mind I'm turning 25, it's a brand which I just really wanna wear all the time. I absolutely love it, and this is one thing I wanted for a long time. If you know the brand, you're pretty aware of what this specific box holds. I have unboxed it already, so that's why there's no ribbon on it, although the ribbon is in here. This is actually a brand which I'm noticing more and more on people. It is something you can wear if you're young. This is definitely a beautiful brand to buy into. However, in comparison to the Cartier Love Bangles, their pieces are not, I want to say wearable, but they are wearable. They're just not as durable. You cannot take a Van Cleef piece into the shower, nor can you take it swimming, and harsh weather conditions are just not designed for these pieces. Today, we're unveiling my beautiful new black onyx necklace so this is the alhambra necklace with i believe it's 10 motifs one two three four five six ten there we go <laughs> i was like where did the other one go it was hiding this is such a beautiful piece you guys probably have seen me already in the malachite which i absolutely love it is so stunning i already realized i love them once i started really getting into jewelry because in the beginning, I think when I started off wearing jewellery, I'd start off with really like dainty little small pieces. And now, I don't think this is that in your face, but it looks fantastic with a white t-shirt and a pair of jeans. It's just something you just add on and you don't need to layer them. Although I love layering my Van Cleef necklaces. This is the Alhambra, the single Alhambra with diamonds in yellow gold. And then I've got the, I, think, I believe it's a sweet Alhambra, the one with little tiny little motifs in rose gold. The big pieces, I feel like they really make a statement. I don't think I'm really ready for the long pieces, although I would probably double them up. And of course, with every Van Cleef purchase, you get your receipt. And this is a care card booklet with your certificate of authentication. Very important to keep these. I keep all of this information and stuff in my safe because I don't want to lose it. They also give you a travel case. These are great for when you travel and you want to put your jewellery somewhere. Next piece. This is another exciting piece. A pair of shoes. You probably already know which ones it is because when I love something, I can't stop buying them. It's another pair of Manolos. Now that I know my Manolo size, I can actually shop online. But here we have a colour which I really needed for actually one particular night. I didn't end up wearing. So these are the Manolo Blanix in what is the exact shade they're just called gray satin i picked up size 35 and a half i actually vary between the 35 and a half and the 36 because i can wear both i do find them both comfortable but sometimes it's nice to wear like a slightly looser size because when your feet get hot they swell so it's nicer to have like a size up but I love these and these are 110 millimeters, 105. You guys have already seen these. You probably watched my last videos where I spoke about them in length. I'm gonna show you guys some ready to wear pieces that I picked up. I need to unbox this because I thought I could potentially wear this item to my lunch today. And we have to unbox it together. It is a piece from, I'm not gonna pronounce it. I'm just gonna get butchered. You know the brand. <laughs> I'm actually gonna go wash my hands before I touch this because I don't wanna jinx it. <laughs> this could potentially be something I wear today and it's a toss up between this item and a Chanel jacket. But this is basically what I'm wearing. I might change it to a white tank top, I don't know yet. This is something which I saw in a different color and wanted to get. It's something which I feel like if you're starting to get into luxury fashion and actually investing, and I don't mean investing as if like to buy something and resell it once in a few years. I mean investing into your wardrobe, investing into pieces which you can keep for a long time, which are sustainable and which will last you a long time. This is something you need. Not necessarily in this colour, but I just I thought I'd be experimental. You guys know, my experimental is not like a lime green. It is a cream Saint Laurent Le Smoking jacket. 
it's got these beautiful satin lapels and i obviously went for it in black but then i saw this cut and i was like hold up this is giving me major major 2021 vibes this is the new me cream i'm i'm really loving cream i'm trying to like hold it away from my face because i'm scared so beautiful saint laurent saint laurent whatever you want to call it they do the best jackets i got it in size 36 i usually wear 34 but 34 was nice it was a snug fit but if i do want to you know layer or like if i do want to have it over my shoulders and not like with my arms through you know that like fashion vibe the 36 was a lot better <laughs> i've got broad shoulders and like i wanted to be able to at least button it up oh my god this is so beautiful i really wearing this to lunch or should i wear the chanel i think i'm gonna wear this i mean i've already unboxed it i need to get these jeans fitted since this is just unacceptable should i pin these at the back oh with an orange back in Maybe we'll take the small one. Yes. Perfect. Okay, so that was a St. Laurent blazer. And then, I don't know if you guys saw my last vlog, I did a Dior haul. And I didn't show you all the pieces that I got from Dior because I wasn't allowed to get them until the 14th of December. It's currently the 3rd of January. And I'm going to show you guys now the remaining pieces. I'll show you the unboxing that I did with the Lise and now we'll do a little try on. So I just picked up my Dior stuff from the mall. This is all the sale stuff that you saw me try on. And obviously Lise hasn't seen it yet. So we're going to show her while she spends her days at work. I spend my days at the mall. Fun times. And I also picked up a little something from Van Cleef. For me. Oh my God. So sweet. No. We'll go through that now. I'm actually wearing it, but you haven't oh, seen it on me. Oh, she's so messy. What's she doing? I know. So we have one. Try going to be on it again. Two. I like the look of that. I bet you. That's actually something you wanted. Three. <gasps> Can it open these? Yeah. I know what this is, and it hasn't even come out the bag yet. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, she's wearing a nappy. Oh. <gasps> Oh, she vomited on It's okay. Don't worry. Okay, wait, I want to show you the sunglasses because... Try. Remember you had a similar... But you know the ones without the, the frame, the one with the thick... How do I see it? I have no idea what you're talking about, to be honest. I actually forgot what I've ordered. Can you just open this already? No, wait, you already know what that is. I we guess have... what it was. Three ready-to-wear pieces. Robe, I think this is the dress. No way, really. It's the, shell. It's the dress. <gasps> Oh my god, what is that? Didn't you see my Instagram story? No. Oh my god, I have to try this one. It's such a stunning dress. And this, I know you really wanted. So I got it. Did you get the black or the cream? <gasps> no, this oh. one. Oh my god, I love it. The other pieces are not on I love sale. It so much. This was the only sale. And it comes it? with a belt. Oh! Yeah, and it comes is with Is this the old collection one? Yeah, I remember we tried it on when we got invited yeah. to the pre launch. But I tried a new, the cream one on, I think. I believe I already got this, but I wanted to get this colour. You won't like it. The Dior Bomber. Look, lady, why can't you just buy cute things like tall skirts <laughs> and blazers? Because that is clapped. Okay, so as I mentioned, this was my favourite piece from the Dior sale. And I'm so glad I was able to find it in my size. It is a beautiful kind of like off-shoulder little cropped jacket top. I'm gonna add the belt. And the great thing about this belt is that there's no holes, so you can kind of like wear it however tight or loose you want. This is what it looks like on. I absolutely love this neckline. Like it's one of my favorites because I do think my collarbone is one of my favorite features. I think it's so elegant. And I just love the fit of this. It's such a cute little piece. I would not wear this with a tall skirt. I'm not my sister. I would probably just wear it with like leather pants. I'm not gonna lie. I then got the black bomber. I already have the rose gold. If you guys have been watching for a while, you would have seen it, but this is the black version. This is the version I initially wanted, but I realized I really should be bold with my choices. So I went for the rose gold, but then I ended up getting the black anyways, because it was on sale. I thought it was more attractive. So, I usually wear these with like my little Dior bralette peeping through. And yeah, it's a cute piece. I haven't yet worn this out. These are nice pieces to wear in like evenings. 
as well as during the day. However, it is a little chilly now in Dubai. And I'm most probably gonna be wearing cashmere for the foreseeable future until spring. This is the next useful piece. It is a stunning dress from, I think the fall winter collection because so it's knitted, it's long. It's like a midi dress on me, but I feel like it's supposed to be a lot shorter. However, I love the length. I'm not gonna put it on for you guys right now. I'll be honest, I can't be bothered to put this on, but I will show you guys the snippet of the vlog where I did try it. It is so stunning, and I cannot wait to wear this out. This, wow. I love that it's conservative as well, and it's not like too showy, but also it's completely see-through. <laughs> Well, it's not completely see-through. It does actually have a slip, but I don't think I'd wear it with the slip. I'm most probably going to wear this with like my little Dior briefs and obviously the little crop top because I feel like this is pretty covered. So I don't really need to be wearing the slip underneath. Next, something completely different to what that is. And I say this because people get confused. They're like, why would you one minute buy a granny dress and the next minute you're in like ripped jeans? I just have different personas. <laughs> These are a pair of jeans I just got from Farfetch. I need to cut them because they are actually super long. I'm gonna try them on now, but I love them because they had the, the, they have the brand name going across. There was a pair which had the brand name over on the front. I'm not gonna say said brand name because I'll get shredded. Next time I meet a French person, I'm gonna ask them to pronounce this for me and I'm just gonna like record their voice and then just put it in my next video. Does anyone else hate jeans which have like a button closure. Like, what if I really have to pee? Obviously, the waist is a little large, so I'm just gonna see if I can do the TikTok hack. Um, no, it's not fine. <laughs> they don't fit. How am I gonna get these tailored? Oh my goodness. They're gonna have to take it in from like one side. No, can't even do that because there's this. So these are what the jeans look like on. Fantastic. Like, Oh, they're just so nice. They're a straight leg. I'm gonna put a picture of the model up here. I love these. I think they're really cool. I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to get them tightened at the waist because otherwise we're going to have a problem. And I love that they're a straight leg. I'm really into like straight jeans these days. Okay, before you say it, I'm not a bandage dress kind of girl. The last time I wore a bandage dress was my Hervé Leger when I was 16 years old on my birthday. Before that, I mean, I did love them. We did have an Hervé phase. Now I will stray away from bandage dresses unless they have like some kind of like added value. So this is a beautiful piece from Dion Lee, which is I believe an Australian brand. Their stuff is amazing. It's fantastic. The quality, the craftsmanship, the cuts. I feel like it's, an, it's another kind of Jack Moose brand, whereas they do very simple pieces, but with an edge. And that is what I love in brands. So this has this hook detailing all the way down and it's also got like a, a corset detail situation here and the back is zipped but there's also hooks at the back which I'm actually going to undo now. I feel like this is how it's meant to be worn although saying that I love this brand because you can actually wear these pieces however you want. They give you the versatility of being able to close this up completely. I don't feel like uncomfortable and sometimes with pieces like this you can feel uncomfortable like you're gonna fall out spill out something's gonna hang out so this is the next piece that I got it's a beautiful tie-dye skirt from a brand called the Attico I absolutely love it it's so stunning it is a jersey kind of fabric so it's stretchy it's got like these really nice rouge kind of detailing down the side I'm not sure if this is exactly how you wear it but I had to look at the model and it's got like a knot detail here. This isn't the easiest dress to get in and out of. I mean, I feel like eventually over time this will stretch, which isn't good, but it's really nice to like play with because I'm sure you guys already know this. I'm afraid of color. So when it comes to wearing colors, I tend to just stick to like black and whites because I know it's the easiest thing for me to do. But adding black with color in like one specific piece and then jazzing it up with like a a colorful pair of shoes or a colorful bag is my new thing. And I feel like I can wear this with my Frankie shirt t-shirts, which by the way, 
I just bought more of. This is actually a piece from Zara. I picked up two more Frankie Sharp t-shirts. I absolutely love these and I got them in size extra small. I think I might just get the khaki one as well because I really love khaki and I absolutely love these t-shirts. I picked up two others because accidentally they went into a wash when they should have gone to dry cleaning. Okay, so that concludes today's little haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Anything that I've worn that I can link, I will link down below. If you want to watch the Dior vlog, I will upload that somewhere here on the screen. Make sure you subscribe if you love luxury fashion and tap that bell to get notified every time I upload. Thank you for watching guys. I'll see you guys in my next video.